Simplicity snuck in and dropped their early spring collection. I'm not entirely sure when during the past week. I only know that this dropped because I was at Joanne today and saw the book on the table. So well, there you go. So we are here to take a look at this uh, Simplicity early spring collection. It looks like we are going to start off with a Mimi G pattern. This is a Mrs. Wrap dress. Comes in sizes 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. And then remember with Simplicity, they still have a very difficult um, website. So I'm going to do my best. But basically we've got a... Um, it looks like a dolman sleeve wrap. Um, not entirely sure. She may have some tape here. I'm not entirely sure how she's keeping that from just falling right open. It's very loose through here. Um, into a drawstring um, waist. So I think there's probably some elastic in there. And then this bow is operational too, so you can make it even tighter maybe. Um, and then the sleeve just folds up into a little cuff. And then there's this like wrap skirt. Pretty cute. Here it is from the side. See what I mean? Like this? I don't know how that's not just completely draping open unless she has like a safety pin or she's got it like taped to her body or something like that. But this um, little contrast band is a really sweet idea for sure. This is, I don't know, because it the um because the illustration is white, but it's making me feel very much like a nurse's um, <laughs> situation. Here's our line drawings. So we've only got two fronts, and it's really just this contrast band or no contrast band. They both share the same back. They both have a center back seam, um, and that like drawstring slash elasticated waist. Um, situation. I do wish they would have given us, I mean, it's not hard to do, obviously, but a skirt that didn't have the swoop. Um, but, and then fabric recommendations are linen, soft cotton, chambray, silky types, and batiks. Um, yeah, I wonder what she's using. Hers felt pretty, like, weighty, but also lightweight and drapey some kind of like rayon something i bet um mrs wrap dress has asymmetrical details with view view b with outside contrast bodice facing dress has wide hem facing and is above knee length with self ties yeah I, i'm curious to know how that tie situation is working like how that operates her other pattern is a jumpsuit um, let's see, sizes 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. Let me zoom in. So it's got a wide scoop neckline, nice big puffy sleeves with a cuff, and then it's got a hidden placket. This is actually a really nice detail that I think, you know, we've seen a lot of jumpsuits lately that have this center front button detail, and the buttons are usually exposed which makes it feel a little bit more casual. Um, so this uh, hidden button placket is really nice. You've also got self uh, belt carriers and a self-made belt and slash pockets. Obviously not the best fitting on her because you've got a lot of drag lines here. There's probably coming from her calf, I'm assuming. I don't know for sure, but considering she makes and models her own stuff, I. I do expect a little bit more. It's not like she has a fit model, you know, but say lovey. Um, so very close fitting. I'm assuming this is the intent. Very close fitting through the bodice, through the hip. Yeah, this pant leg, I don't know what. It's definitely something with her, um, her large caps. I have large caps too, trust me. It's definitely something that I have to pay attention to, but um, this little extra thing is a little bit strange. All right, the line drawings are adorable. You can't, what you can't see is that there's a princess seam here. And can we see the back? Where's the back? 
and the back has princess seams as well. The back also has a straight across um, neckline, which you can kind of see here, but her hair is a little bit in the way. Um, and then sleeveless or short sleeve with the band. So yeah, if I were going to make this, I would probably put on a different pant, at least different pant back, um, and see if that helped a little bit. All right. Um, fabrics are denim, laundered cotton, linen, poplin, sateen. I think she's probably in a sateen, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, look at all these finished garment measurements. Okay, thank you. So I think the sateen's a good idea too because it has a little bit of stretch in it, you know? So that'll help with the close fitting parts. Um, not actually, not too, too much fabric. And this belt is, it, I mean, I think self belts just really elevate a garment. I just love them so much. Um, is that it? I think so. Let's see, read, the, read the little description. Mrs. Jumpsuit with puffed sleeves or sleeveless has front zipper. Okay, so that's a zipper placket. Still hidden nicely, you know. Um, fitted bodice, slash pockets, slim pants, and belt. Okay. Now we have, now remember when Simplicity rebranded and became like the light blue color and all that kind of stuff, their designs became a lot more simplified as well. So don't come here expecting, you know, what we just saw from McCall's. It's going to be a lot more minimalistic. And that's okay because there are, first of all, there are people out there who only dress this way. And secondly, it's nice to have some like cleanse it, uh, palette cleansers in your closet too. So this is a little mock neck top with three quarter sleeves or elbow length sleeves. Hits at the, I'm guessing that's like the low hip. And then there's this midi length skirt. Now I think all these little lines that you see are the fabric. It's not actually a part of the design. Here's the back. I think there's a center back zip, a little bit of a flare to the top. Here's our line drawing. Yes. So as you can see, we basically got a t-shirt and an elastic waisted pencil skirt. So we are not, <laughs> we're not reinventing the wheel here. Very, very simple. Um, here are the rest of the drawings. You only got a couple views. You have this, you know, plain little crew neck version. And then you've got this one with a little mock neck, both of which have like a little zipper in the back. This reminds me a lot of um, surfers. What are those? Oh, rash guards? Um, and or scuba, scuba suits. Oh, what are those things called? You know what I mean? Where they attach like the long string to the end. This is what that feels like to me. And then you just have this, you know, pretty basic skirt, man. Um, size for stretch knits only, like jersey rib knit, ITY knit, bamboo knit, modal knit, and sweater knit. So those are pretty lightweight knits also. I mean, I guess spring. Okay. But I genuinely think you could make, I mean, this is such a simple design. You could make this out of any knit under the sun, and I think you would be just fine. You just want to, you know, double check the stretch, which they usually have on the back envelope that you get in person, a little stretch chart to make sure that it'll stretch enough. And if it doesn't, then you can just size up and you'll get the stretch that you need across the wider parts of your body. Um, so yeah, there's your invisible zipper and then elastic for the skirt. Finished garment measurements, bust and hip. Great. 35 to 51 inches in the hip of this skirt. Finished. Finished. So um, there might even be some negative ease in there because this is a knit garment. 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 on the size range there. Like I said, very basic. Um, okay, so we've, now we've got a knit dress. Well, she's just beautiful. She looks like, um, oh shoot, if I hadn't said it, Emma Watson, the girl from um, Harry Potter. Doesn't she look like her? Just squint your eyes a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is a t-shirt dress 
with some kind of like pin tucks or something, something kind of unique going on here um, that swings from the high hip down to the low hip. And then you've got what I'm assuming is some version of a circle skirt attached to that. Here is the back. Again, I think it might be a series of darts. Maybe. Oh, I always like when they have tattoos. Hers is just like a date or something. Um, yeah, and you can do a long sleeve or short sleeve. What's the difference between maybe different lengths? Let's see if you can tell here. Nope, same length. A, oh, B, A, B. Wow, they really make you work for that one. So it's interesting. I mean, it is a knit dress. It's going to be very comfortable. Um, this is a nice, unique detail that, quite honestly, I don't see anywhere. And I also could see this, especially in, like, a solid navy ITY or I don't know, some kind of really beautiful, like, yeah, like a lycra, lycra blend. I could see this in like a high end store, you know, not just like Ann Taylor. I mean, certainly it would be there, but, um, in like, you know, I'm trying to think like a Bowdoin maybe even would have something like this, but like, I could see this retailing for like two, $300, depending on the fabric choice for sure. Um, but they're recommending Jersey, Lycra, and Interlock. Um, and I think solid is the way to go to help, you know, highlight. Even though you would think a stripe or something would highlight it even more, I think stripes in that area of the body are a little bit, like, risky. So I would go with the solid. It could be really, really stunning. One of those dresses that's, like, so simple it's sexy. You know what I mean? Don't, don't discount it just yet because it's so simple. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, finished bust measurement, go 30 and a half up to 46, and the hip only goes up to 46 and a half finished. Finished. So depending on, you know, how much stretch your fabric has, which all three of these have a good amount. So, and they did the numerical sizing, same as before. I think that this, you know, t-shirt jersey was, it, I know they're going for spring, I get that, but that was a bit of a miss for me um, in terms of, like, in terms of not forcing me to have to picture it in my mind, you know. All right, here's another dress. Um, they don't say much about it, do they? Numerical sizing, Mrs. Dress in three lengths with and without stand collar has bodice and skirt pleats details, long or short flutter raglan sleeves, and another self belt. So this is beautiful. It's got a raglan sleeve, gathered neckline into some like a bias tape situation, um, then a long sleeve into a cuff, and the cuff also has a pleat as well. Um, first of all, this is long for a cuffed shirt and the cuff looks really wide not so bad there but I like how it's hitting there more than when she has her arm down that's for sure um self belt looks like they've just got some um fisheye darts in the back here center back zip with a little button and this is actually a two-piece raglan which makes sense um, so there might even be a little dart up here. I love a raglan with a dart at the shoulder. Those are just shaped so beautifully. But yeah, I think they've got a really nice shape to the sleeve here. There's not too, too much fabric anywhere. Um, and, you know, this looks to be a pretty structured cotton. So it would show if, if it were. But then you get this flutter sleeve. You also get this, like, high neck. And I think that maybe the line drawings will show us. I don't think there's a waist seam in here. I think this is just the belt is doing all the gathering. So, oh, I stand corrected. There actually is a waist seam. But man, doesn't that look super generous? Let's see her from the back. Look at how much this is like folded over, you know? Maybe they just made it a little bit too big for her. I don't know how fitted this is supposed to be. It didn't even say in the description. 
I'm really glad they didn't make this version though. <laughs> I think they did a great job with the one they chose, a simple fabric. Um, so, so there's that. Let's see. Silky types. Crepe, rayon, and soft linens. That's probably what they use. Some kind of lightweight linen. Um, but I honestly think you could do anything. Um, shirting. Anything in the lightweight woven category. You know, shirtings, cottons, things like that. Um, finished measurements. We have a bust. And then a hip. Yeah, the hip is really generous. That makes sense because it's a flared skirt. And then the bust being raglan sleeve is pretty generous too. You really only have to make sure that you're okay with this waist measurement. But because you have the belt, I mean, it's pretty forgiving. You know, it doesn't have to be like a perfect fit. You can fix that with the belt a little bit. Like they've done. Okay, now we have a pleated dress. Um, the description says asymmetric pleated dress with sleeve and length options. Okay. The numerical sizing, so you've got a high neck, center front seam, ooh, beautiful French darts. These appear to be a little bit, a little bit long. Um, very high sleeve as well. That's, it's very small sleeve hole. So I would definitely take a look at that in your muslin. But then look what happens. I, we'll see in the line drawings a little bit, but this little center front seam becomes a pleat. And I think there's like a princess type of seam that becomes a pleat. And then another one that also becomes a pleat. Really, really beautiful. See, simple can be exceptional, right? You've got gorgeous fisheye darts. I feel like somebody's watching my videos and giving me two fisheye darts in a row. I, mean, I don't want to jinx myself, but y'all remember 2008, I mean, sorry, 2018, 2019, all I did was complain about the lack of fisheye darts. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so center front, and then it's not actually a full princess seam. They actually come up, and they do like a whole top stitching thing. There's like a whole situation you also have a little sleeve option and you also have pockets but you know how i feel about floppy pockets when there's nothing to anchor it into on the front um these actually you probably could anchor it into the center front seam or at least tack it down on one of these two so that's not so so bad you, you could make it work um but what was i just gonna say oh i bet this eats up a ton of fabric just be in all these panels. Yeah. Um, batik, chambray, sateen again, cotton types, gabardine, jacquard, lightweight denim, linen types, poplin, stretch wovens. Yeah, so, so many options. But yeah, a, a cotton with like, I guess a sateen. Is there such thing as like a fabric like sateen, but it's not shiny? That would be really cool. I guess like a stretch shirting, maybe. Um, and then only three yards of fabric. That's actually way less than I thought. I thought we were going to be in the four yard range. So, and then we have the bust, finished bust, and finished hip. So, pretty close fitting, both of them. Even though we have these pleats, they don't start until just below the low hip. So it's a pretty fitted dress through through the hip and then flares out after that. It's a nice design. Okay, now we are moving into tops. We've got this one, which is, oh goodness. Um, some kind of like neck detail. I think this falls into some like, yeah, there's like a tie or something. Then you've got this sleeve with this really exaggerated sleeve placket. Beautiful darts that fit her perfectly. And then it hits at it hits at your low hip. That's hard to say. Um, yeah, I don't know that I would have paired this with jeans. It feels a little fancy for jeans, but okay. Yeah, and then it just ties in the back. They just have done a little casual loop situation, but you could do a bow if you wanted. 
the slave is really the star of the show here. I can't totally tell what's happening. We'll read the description and see if it helps. But it looks like buttons? There's a sleeve placket, and then there's a button here around this area, and, and, and then the lower button? Is that what it looks like to you guys? Um, notions. Thread, elastic cord. I wonder where that goes. Only one dome button. That must be for the center back. And then four half inch buttons. So yeah, I do think that there is a button midway and then a button at the bottom. But crepe, uh, cotton types, satin, shirting, silky types, stretch wovens. Yep. Finished bust is 34 to 49 and a half. Finished hip is 38 to 53 and a half. So. Yeah, they don't give a very good description of it at all. Oh gosh, what is this? You guys, this is just silly. What what is that? No sleeve. Ugh. <laughs> okay, numeric sizing. Mrs. Okay, it is bias cut. That is that makes me forgive it a little bit. Asymmetric drape tops with sleeve and length variations. I just don't understand why you'd want to have why couldn't you just duplicate this? This is so pretty. Anyways, you've got this like draping, which is really nice into like this little inverted pleat into a beautiful little narrow hemmed sleeve and then you got whatever's going on over here here's the back yep just a keyhole with a button and this is the elastic cording that they ask you to get now this is a little bit concerning again we'll look at the line drawings and see if this is intentional or not Okay, so they do give you an option with two sleeves. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. But those are the only options you get. You don't even get an option with two sleeveless. I guess there wouldn't be much to that, but still. No, okay, so there is a detail on the back. Okay. But only on this one. So is this draping different than this draping I mean it doesn't have this thing here anywhere interesting I think those are two different bodices and basically like two different tops I don't know I'd have to buy the pattern pull out the um the um pattern pieces and take a look in order to figure that out Okay, or I guess you could look in the um, instruction booklet where they have the individual pattern pieces as line drawings, and you could find that out that way. But Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Silky Types, that's what they're having you get. But obviously you could do any um, lightweight woven, any rayons, any of that. Crepe. All right, now we've got a knit t-shirt. Yep, that's what we've got. <laughs> Mrs. Knit T-shirt with front bodice panel has shorter elbow length sleeves. You see has contrast front bodice panel and sleeves. Isn't it interesting to you that this description is twice as long as the shirt we just looked at, yet the shirt we just looked at was twice as complicated as this one? Like, how does that add up? <laughs> okay, so here's what they mean. So you've got a seam that starts up here and comes down to the front here. I've seen this in an indie pattern. I may, maybe like patterns for pirates or who have we reviewed recently? Five out of four maybe or um oh who did we just look at and they, they had that tank top with like the square back. I made it made it patterns has something like this. Maybe that's who it was. I can't remember. But they've decided to make theirs with a similar color, but a cotton jersey, I think, and then a velvet. So that they're doing a play on texture here, which is really interesting. 
that's actually quite cool, I think. But yeah, there's your two options. Really, it's just a matter of sleeve length. Yep. And then size for stretch knits only, jersey, interlock, and ponte. Contrast also, faux stretch leather or suede. It's cool. And then the, for the contrast version, you really just need a yard of each. Um, so maybe you have some little one yard pieces in your stash and, um, you can put them together to make a cute top. But if you do not do that, then you only need a yard and a quarter for the whole thing. So doing a contrast is a little bit, it's a fabric hog because you just can't, you know, lay out your pattern pieces tucked in like you would. And then the finished bust goes up to a 46 inch bust. What was the sizing? Yeah, numeric sizing on this too. All right, now we've got a cute little blouse. I wouldn't be surprised if this was one of the designer patterns. It doesn't say though, say so though, but um, numeric sizing on it. Emma Watson is back. <laughs> um, okay, so you've actually got a mock turtleneck, meaning there's no seam here, I think. And then all of these really cool pleats, released pleats. That's actually really cute. And then just a regular sewn on um, set in sleeve. Now this one's quite long. Look, it goes past her, past her bum, which I don't know about the proportions of that. Um, like to me, this little design seems a little, I don't know, sweet. And so having it be a lot shorter would, I think I would like that better, but that's just me. Um, okay, keyhole neckline and then some buttons. Oh, and then you have a long sleeve version. And then you also have this version that's a long sleeve with an elastic band. That's quite cool. Yeah, but this front neckline is really, really cool. I like that. Again, I'm all for simplicity so long as it's interesting. And interesting doesn't have to mean complicated. So, um, fabrics are Chali, Charmeuse, Cotton Lawn, Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Lightweight Linen, Shirtings, Silky Types, Wall, yeah, obviously the more structured it is, the more it's going to stand away from the body. But I also feel like it has to be a little bit structured in order to hold up for these um, little pleats to hold up. You know what I mean? Like out of a chalet, I feel like all of this would just collapse. So it has to be a pretty good balance. Okay, here's another top. This one is uh, numeric sizing again. Misses top with sleeve variations and neck closure with ties or elastic loop and buttons. So, oh, this is actually quite complicated to sew. Neck bands like this are challenging because it's like a lot of concave being sewn into convex and that's a little bit of work but raglan sleeve with this sleeve seam that creates this lantern sleeve if you add it on cute little deep band um, into this neck band that ties in the front but this little v this is deep you guys i mean if this is her bust apex i'm sorry to put the cursor right on it but if this is her bust apex and you come over i mean it's a good inch below her bust apex so it should be easy enough for you to sew that up closed a little bit more because there's a center front seam here. Um, but again, they've got it nice and long, and I imagine she's probably pretty tall. So maybe they're meaning for it to be tucked in. I don't know. And the back has some really cute little gathers. Buttons on the sleeve band. Yep. Here's this sleeve. Oh, and you have this plain sleeve also, but long with the 
gathered cuff. Oh, and this one also has the buttons with the loops instead of the tie. So, but I think they're equally as deep, the slits. There, you can see it a little bit better there. Cool. Um, Charmeuse, crepe de chine, double georgette, gauze, lightweight linen types, shirtings, silky types. Yeah, I think theirs is some kind of like, I don't know if that's a, um, oh Lord, I'm never going to remember the name of that fabric. Something with a P. Oh, yeah, I can't think of it. Some kind of like textured cotton. PK. Oh, that makes me so happy my brain works. <laughs> okay. It may be like a PK cotton or some kind of like embroidered cotton or something. I think that's what they're using. <laughs> Did y'all know what I was talking about before I said it? Um, Charmeuse, crepe de chine, double georgette, gauze, lightweight linen types, shirting, silky types. Yeah, really runs the gamut. I mean, you could go up into, you know, the heavier end of lightweight on this for sure, which would be the lightweight linen, the shirtings. Numeric sizing on everything, I guess. Mrs. Top. Oh, yeah, we already read that. Okay. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I knew I was missing something. I'm, like, going too fast. Zoom. And then I wanted to see finished measurements for the bust go up to 55 and a half. So it is pretty roomy. And the fabric requirements aren't too, too much. Obviously, the one with the sleeve, because that's a raglan sleeve, a one-piece raglan sleeve also. Um, so that's going to eat up a lot of fabric. But... These two are under two yards. It could also be really cute if you extended it into a dress. It's already almost long enough to be a dress, so. All right, here's a cute little skirt. All right, all right, I can do this. Same sizing as everything else. I am thinking this is knit, but you've got this knit band and this um, asymmetric slit opening. Also look at this on the inside. Is that a lining? Um, this reminds me of the dress that Mall Calls just released. The black dress that um, one of the four or six patterns that came in the extended sizing, but it's a black dress on the black model. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Um, this design reminds me of that. Simple pencil skirt in the back. Here it is walking. Side zip. And then just a few different lengths is all we've got here. Some darts in the back underneath the band. Because it has a zipper though, it makes me think it's not knit. And it is not. Interesting. Brocade. Crepe. Denim, I'm, sl I'm slowing down so that I can really absorb this. Ponty, I mean, that is a knit. Maybe that's what they used on hers. Poplin and sateen. Huh, okay. All right, and then a couple yards, one and a half to two yards, depending on the version that you're making. Finished hip, it goes up to 51. Yeah, their fabric is just so smooth. That's why I assumed it was a knit. But yeah, okay, Ponty, sure. It's cool. Very cool, okay. Next, we have another skirt. Oh my goodness, excuse me. <laughs> um, wow, that is a high sheer panel. I mean, I don't think it could show anything, but that is showing almost all of her leg. Get on it. Okay. Wow. It's hard to see everything else that's going on. Okay, so we've got like a one inch, one and a half inch band some darts, 
Obviously, you don't have to do it in a shear or a tool or whatever it is they've got going on, but a couple more darts in the back, center back zip, and then here's the version with the solid fabric panel. Here's a version with the sheer panel, and then I also think you could just do it in contrast fabric as well, or something like just not as sheer as this. They really went for it though, didn't they? So this looks to be very similar to the last design we just saw. I mean, nearly identical, but a little bit more of a flare to the skirt. And obviously this little panel as well. I think that the construction of this is a lot different than it might seem. I don't think these two things are sewn together, but I don't know. Um, here, let's see what this is. Okay, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> this is mock wrap skirt with or without inside sheer panel and length variations. Crepe, double Georgette, double knit Ponte silky types and stretch wovens. And then two and a half, one and three quarters. Oh, two and a half yards plus one and a quarter yards of your contrast fabric. That must be the longest one. A, hey, yeah, okay, gotcha. So that's the one she's wearing? No, B has a contrast too. Okay. So one and three quarters plus another yard. And then C, which is all one, is just two yards. Hip measurement up to 53 and a half, which is kind of surprising. It looks pretty, well, maybe it doesn't flare as much as you would think. Yeah, the construction of this is very intriguing to me. All right, now we've got pants. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, four to 12 and then 14 to 22 is the sizing on this one. So we have got some flat front pants with patch pockets and then the side seam comes together in this little inverted pleat and then a nice big cuff on the bottom. It also has an elastic waist top, which actually makes a lot more sense. I mean, it's not a, the way they have it styled isn't a ton better. I'm trying to just look at the pants. Just look at the pants. Oh, man. Um, Oh, and this version also has like side seam pockets versus the other one that had the patch pockets. Or do they have patch pockets and side seam pockets? I mean, there is no doubt there is a pocket there. Oh, it's just a top stitched pocket. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. They put her in a high heel or a kitten heel. I don't know, guys. Oh, no, there's a short. All right. And I mean, okay, yeah, the wide leg pant looks good. But I mean, how many? We have so many pants patterns like that. I, I want to like this detail. I really, really do. Also, why is it on the outside of this leg and on the inside of this leg? Is it also on the inside of this leg? Is it on both sides? It's on both sides. No. <laughs> um, I thought it was just on one side. Oh, I don't know. Man. I want to because it is what makes it interesting, right? I've just been talking about how I like things that are simple but are interesting. This is just not it. <laughs> Too interesting, I guess. Oh, lightweight denim, linen, microfiber. You don't see that a lot in garment um, patterns. Poplin, silky types, soft, soft cotton. 
um, two and a half yards for the pants. I mean, well, those are the shorts, one and one eighth of a yard, two yards for the little lantern pants. Maybe like not in a khaki, I, something about it is like, it's just, it's very close but I can't isolate what I would change to make it something that I really love. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the khakis. I don't know. Next, we've got another pair of pants. This one comes in the regular sizing. Oh, white. White's even harder than black. You guys, I might just skip all these pictures. This woman has some very interesting body art. Yeah, you can't even see it in the picture. Can you guys see it better than I can? Tilting my screen, that's not helping. Let's just skip to the line drawings, shall we? Wow, you have an actual like trouser. So, waistband, front pleats, slant pocket, side zip which I really love and then an elastic back so flat front elastic back um, and then just one dart in the back as well also elastic in the back and a zipper so for those of you that are not pear shaped not curvy you know on the bottom half you should know that in order to when you wear elastic when I wear elastic pants the elastic, the waist portion is, you know, going to fit my waist. And a lot of times that measurement, when you stretch the pants out as stretchy as they'll go with the elastic, is still hard to get over my hips. But when I get them on, they fit in my waist. So to have a zipper plus an elastic back is a little bit more promising to me in the fit department. It makes me feel like, okay... I wouldn't have to worry about that. I could get a good fit in the waist and not have to worry about getting them on. So, crepe, linen, linen blends, rayon, sateen, silky types, wool, and wool blends. Um, two and three quarters, two and a half, two and an eighth yards, depending on the length. Finished hip goes up to 56 and a half. So... But they are pretty relaxed and also low. I don't know if they're just low on her or I can't really see the crotch. So it's just really hard to tell. No, the crotch looks like it's in the right place. But I mean, I think her waist is up here somewhere. So maybe they're going for that loose, relaxed, you know, floaty trouser thing. Yeah, I mean, again, you'd have to look at the pattern pieces to see, or at least read through the instructions to see where it's intended to hit on the body. Usually it'll say like one inch below, at the waist, you know, whatever. And then also on the pattern pieces will be a little line that says where the waistline is. All right, look at this cool little jacket. This is what they've had on their cover. This was on the cover of the catalog in the store as well. All the sizes are in one, love. Already on back order. All right, so it is a like re envisioned, re envisioned, is that a word? Reinvented? Um, like, like not a jean jacket, but like a, oh, what am I trying to say? You know, like the jackets that the guys used to wear in the mines, like utility jacket. But this, in this gorgeous lavender color, um, is really, really cute. They have, you know, it's a button front. It has the collar stand with the collar, like a, like a proper, hardcore, difficult-to-do <laughs> collar. Uh, patch pockets on the front. Drop shoulder into a sleeve, into a thing here, into something happening here, into a tab. I mean, look how cool. I am a sucker for a wide but short jacket. 
get ready for the back, okay? Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna be a lot more dramatic than that. <laughs> you also have patches on the sleeves, um, and I think this is a pocket. But I can't tell what's happening with these little guys. What is that? And then they made it a little bit more pink for the for this picture. I don't know why this purple color is so pretty, but whatever. Um, okay, so here's the line drawings of the other views. So just a simpler version all around. Simple sleeve um, and just one pocket on the front. And then this one has just the stand collar. Uh, one breast pocket, two front patch pockets, and then more of a standard sleeve um, with a cuff maybe? I don't know what this is in here. No, they're the same. So, I don't know. Top stitching? Is that what that is? Top stitching? Oh, but they left off the patch pockets. I mean, obviously. Okay. So there's really not that many options. There's three. Yeah. It's cute, right? Do we like it? I love it in the lavender color. I think that really, really sells it. If they would have made it in just like a khaki, you know, it might have been too literal. So I like it in a fun color. Broadcloth. Canvas chambray but i'd make it pretty heavy chino corduroy cotton types denim linen pique satin stretch wovens twill wool really any like light to midweight like outerwear fabric i love that all the sizes are in one that's really great finished bust and um that's it finished bust 59 inches so really generous in the fit very loose fitting you don't have to worry about it too too much i mean obviously you don't want to be swimming in it but other than that you could you would be okay i love it i love the super deep tabs and it would be one of those projects that like you know takes you a little bit of time you don't just like bust through it okay this is a sportswear pattern which i'm used to having more than just a couple pieces but um, it looks like we've got a quilted, like, lightweight coat, or jacket, lightweight jacket, and then a pant. I'm gonna go ahead and assume these are elastic pants. <laughs> they just love an elastic waistband. Um, so it's a coat, a jacket pattern that I feel like, when we look at the line drawings, I think you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I have something like that. It's nothing spectacular in terms of design. They are just reinventing it in terms of fabric, I guess. I think this is a purchased quilted fabric, too. It's not even like you learn how to quilt it yourself. But, and then, yes, you get an elastic waist pant. So, yeah, maybe doing a little bit of repurposing of the vault. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, see this? You guys, something like that, right? I know I have like a crew neck um, button front jacket with a sleeve somewhere. I mean, this is a little bit unique, but not too much. And then a slim pant with an elastic waist and side seam pockets on top of that. Yeah, you can't even really see this detail on her. Well, mostly because she's covering, she's doing a really good job of covering that detail up. So that's not really that helpful. A little bit you can see it there, but I think it's like a shorter in the front than it is in the back. But it's just really hard to tell with the photos that they provided. Stretch knits only, stretch wovens, double knit, ponty fleece, sweatshirt fleece. Um... Yep, okay. No surprises there. Two and an eighth, one and seven eighths for the jackets. So like two yards for the jackets. And then two and a quarter for the pants. Finished bust is 55 inches and finished hip is 52. Very close fitting. Not very, but 
Very slim. All right, now we've got a Mrs. Jacket and Pants. So I don't know what makes this not sportswear. That seems like an industry term that is thrown around a lot, but does it have like a real meaning, sportswear? Like this is gonna give us the same thing, a jacket and a pair of pants as the last one. What makes something sportswear versus not? Does anybody know? But, okay, so we've got an oversized long blazer um, with a drop shoulder, either poorly sewn or poorly drafted. One of the two on this sleeve cap is just, what is happening? Um, beautiful collar though. I mean, that really is stunning. Here she is with the whole outfit, side seam, or not side seam pockets, but the pockets are part of the princess seam, which is a nice detail. And then they've got them nice and cropped so she can wear with her sandals. Here's the back. Yeah, I mean, that something's not right with this. It's not dropping enough. It looks like she put on her dad's blazer. Like they went to church and she got cold and she put on her dad's blazer. Cause this, this looks like a, like the shape of the sleeve head looks too rounded for a drop sleeve. Do y'all agree? Yeah, maybe it's just too wide on her. Maybe it's not supposed to be, it's not, maybe it's not supposed to fall off that much on her, but she's got narrow shoulders or something. Something's happening there. But then we've got our favorite elastic waist pants. I mean, can we not just put out like one really good elastic waist pant pattern and then just say, okay, this, this new, these new patterns are just the jacket. Like, you're not fooling anybody by giving us the same elastic waist pant over and over and over again. <laughs> um, crepe, linen, ponty, poplin, rayon, sateen, soft twill. It's really hard to say all those back to back like that. Um, two and a half yards for the jacket and two and three quarters for the pants. I mean, when your finished bust is an inch bigger than your finished hip, you know you've got an oversized top happening. <laughs> All right, unlined jacket, hidden pockets in the princess seams. Yeah, okay. Okay, very good. And then I think this is going to be our last one because we don't do kids and we've already done these. Okay, it's a little uh, pullover, a little hoodie unisex so make one for the whole family extra small to extra large raglan sleeve very long sleeve and then they've also got the uh, hip band and the uh, wristband his has a drawstring at the hem and a kangaroo pocket not his but this other version and a hood Oh, there it is with some contrast bands. Okay. This is the same as before. Here's them from the back. All right, and here's all of our, well, there's only two views. Wow. Couldn't even have given us, like, a different sleeve, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. Obviously, you can mix and match the sleeve bands and leave the kangaroo pocket off and to put the hoodie on this one. So there are more options, I'm aware, but... I mean, for $15? I don't know. Maybe that is valuable but a raglan so i mean i don't know what they're going to recommend in terms of fabrics let me look at that first uh stretch knits only such as berber fleece double knit french cherry polar fleece and sweatshirt fleece so they're only really recommending fleeces but i'll tell you that i make 
these types of raglan sweatshirt type of patterns out of sweater knits and it really gives that whole like casual dressy thing because it's a raglan sleeve it gives a more casual vibe but in a uh, sweater knit it's a little bit more dressed up um, and you guys always really respond to those really well when I post them okay and then I'm interested to see the sizing on this the finished sizing because if it is intended for you know women men and everybody in between um, I would think that you'd have to have a pretty big variety but no it the um, bust is still up to 55 now how that translates when it's not boobs I mean like I've never measured Dan's chest before well, I wonder what it is and if he would even fit into this you know what I'm saying maybe I'll measure him and see just just so I have some sort of point of reference I mean he's not a big guy he's actually quite a little guy um, I'm just curious to know like when you have boobs and sometimes you're a small person with big boobs um, that just doesn't seem like that I don't know I mean I know unisex is unisex but like I would think you'd have to go beyond 1XL in order to really capture a full unisex range this feels like yes it's unisex but only for like smaller dudes so if any of y'all out there know your guys sons husband dad whatever know their chest measurement weigh in on this and let me know if the 42 to 55 inches is really inclusive enough for for guys okay all right well there you have it that is it that is our simplicity early spring there were some real standouts some real kind of duds but there are also some that I really do feel like if you take a second look at um, you would be able to find something um, really stunning really beautiful especially if you were to make it out of a really really amazing fabric um, I think you could take a simple design something like this definitely this um, and make it just a real showstopper in your wardrobe, even though it is a simpler design. So let me know what you guys think. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.